little hungry one. I'll never make it done. And that's beyond. It's been with me. I'll never repeat. This might actually be the last repeat for today. So I hope you guys like it. And please do feel big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Turn post notifications. And let's get started. So for this review, I'm going to be doing on one of my absolute favorite horror movies of all time. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of horror movies. And stuff like that. If you see my um, Jason Voorhees, Jason Voorhees mask and my Freddy Krueger mask. I'm a huge fan of horror movies. And one of my favorites, which I'm going to show right now, is this one. Scream. One of my absolute favorite movies of all time. As you can see, the thing, program start, wrong number, it's only Billy, Cindy, turn, questions, story with a punch, a call for Cindy, rotation, someone's knocking, fear bust, the rules, not the one, no one help here. File setup. What? Four plants. Uh, face off. Okay. Put this in there. Four plants. A clever thriller. The Washington Post. And this is the original movie that came out in 1996. As you can see, someone taking their love for horror movies one step too far. There you can see a, a girl, Cindy. With her face, with her hand covered over her face. And the cast. If I remember correctly, Neb Campbell, Courtney Cox. Uh, I'm trying to remember real quick. Drew Barrymore and. David Arkin, David Arkin, and Skip. He plays Billy and stuff like that. Scream is one of my absolute favorite movies, horror movies, because way back then, horror movies wasn't like, you know, getting any credit anymore. Everybody started like King Horror movies back in nineteen in the nineteen nineties I think. Then along came this film, Scream, which absolutely changed the horror son horror genre. Which I'll get into here in a minute. Scream is talking about a ghost face, Cindy, who's being stalked by a ghost face killer wearing a ghost face mask. Cindy, Cindy's mainly the main character here. And ghost face goes off and killing her friends.
and then stuff like that. I'm not going to get into that stuff because I don't want to spoil the whole thing if you guys haven't seen this one. And the reason why I'm showing a review on this is because, I don't know if you guys know, but coming up in 2022 is the return of Scream. That's right, they're making a new movie of Scream, which I am super excited for. The return of Scream, with a new direct, with new director and stuff, because, um, sadly, as you guys know, Wes Craven passed away in 2015, no, wait, 2014, my bad, no, wait, I think it was 2015, yeah, I think it was 2015, sadly, Wes Craven passed away, so they're having a new director and stuff like that, and I cannot wait to see what Scream It's all about. It was. They can't put Scream 5. Because I read on a thing. I watched on a video saying. If they put like a number right next to Scream. They can't you know. It won't like work that way anymore. So now. They're going with. Just Scream. I'm sick. I am super excited. I watched so many videos on what everyone is expecting from the new Scream movie. I cannot wait for the trailer to come out. I've been super excited about this coming out. I'll let y'all get in here in a minute. Scream is going to have a new cast probably some of the old cast but it's still not confirmed if Courtney Cox is gonna come in oh now I remember David Arquette <laughs> but yeah it's still not confirmed if Courtney Cox is gonna be in I mean Neil Neville Campbell Nev Campbell, my bad. But Courtney Cox and David Arquette are going to be in the movie. But we don't know if um, Neve Nev Campbell is going to be in there. There will be two killers. That are actually going to be twins. We don't know who the twins yet are going to be. And. Like I said. It might. It will be all revealed. In that movie. Trailer. Which I cannot wait. For it to come out. If it goes good, they might do another movie of this. Because I really want to see what Scream looks like. In 2022. Because the last Scream movie, which I'm pretty sure all of you may know, it was Scream 4. Which didn't do good in the box office. Even though I thought it was a great movie. But most people don't think it was a great movie but yeah I cannot wait to see what they look like and there will be a possible return of the original ghost face mask which you know Wes Craven had with him for a long time which you know a regular producer had with him for a long time no Wes Craven had with him and then there will be a new ghost face mask which I cannot wait to see what it is
but I am super excited for the new screen and the return of our old friends. Nymph, Nymph Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette. And also this guy, I keep forgetting his name, but yeah. I cannot wait. But yeah, that's my review on Scream. One of my best and one of the my favorite horror movie of all time. Nothing will ever beat the original. But yeah. I think that's about what I wanted to say. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a comment. Subscribe to your channels on my site thing. And yeah. Guys again, I'm almost close to 360 subscribers. 360 subscribers. That's a lot. If I can reach a goal, I really appreciate it. Because again, this will be much closer to my goal. 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 people watching. So if I reach a goal, I really appreciate it. Because again, these videos are all possible to you guys. I love you guys so much for all your support. Like I always say, and I always mean. And you guys got four people to me and yes, beyond. Yes, beyond, say goodbye. Yes, beyond. And yeah. Also, let me know if you guys are excited for the new Scream movie that will be coming out in 2022. It was originally supposed to be coming out in 2021, but it just got pushed back and now it's coming out in 2022. So, yeah. Alright, guys, there you go. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys for tomorrow for another episode of EV Plushy Adventures. Alright, guys, there you go. Goodbye, and have a good day. Or next.